Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today, we're tackling a challenge that many Python developers encounter, a memory error when trying to create a large array. Our viewer has shared a script that attempts to create an array with 50 billion elements, but instead, they hit a wall with a memory error. Let's break down the code and understand what's going wrong. Welcome back to another technical video. Today, I'll be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution you're looking for. Guys, remember to say just a little bit crazy, just like me, and hopefully you work through to that resolution. Now, let's continue on. The error you're encountering is a memory error, which occurs when Python cannot allocate enough memory for your large array. In this case, you're trying to create an array with 50 billion elements. To resolve this issue, consider using a more memory-efficient data structure. One option is to use NumPy, which allows you to create large arrays more efficiently. Here's how you can modify your code to use NumPy. First, import NumPy, then create an array using NumPy zeros function. Now to fill the array with random integers, you can use NumPy's random.randint function, which is optimized for performance. Finally, remember to check your system's memory limits. If you still encounter issues, consider reducing the size of your array or using techniques like memory mapping. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. And when working with large numbers in Python, you can improve readability by using underscores to separate the digits. For example, instead of writing 50 billion as 5 thousand zero zero, you can write it as 50 score 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. One solution to the Python memory error on large arrays is to increase your computer's virtual memory. A user found that increasing their virtual memory from 3,000 megabyte to 5,000 megabyte resolved the issue. And that's it guys. I hope we found the solution you're looking for. And look, if we did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until the next time you need technical help, I hope you have a good one.